I would say like a Sanchez or others, but like a Glaber Torres. Um, there's a number of players that, that uh, the 60 game season did not, um, I think, do justice for. Uh, and they might all have different reasons. Um, some of them might have just been bad for a, uh, for a, you know, a short stretch. Uh, in Talkman's case, you know, he struggled. Uh, that is without a doubt, which I think then cut into his opportunities uh, of playing time because of the struggles. And so his issues are more difficult to overcome, I think, than, uh, than obviously Gilbert Torres playing through it or Gary Sanchez playing through it amongst others playing through it uh, because he was a role player. And so, you know, to earn more time, you got to play well and, and he wasn't playing as well. And so that means somebody else was earning more time. So when the opportunities opened up, um, you know, Frazier took his shot and earned it and, and beat out, you know, the everyday at bats that Talkman might've been able to, you know, cause there was a period of time people might forget they were in competition with each other, one right-handed, one left-handed. Talkman fits us better in theory because of the left-handed bat, because we're so right-handed, um, you know, but he does bring that regardless of this offensive struggles this year, he brought a lot of value because he's a really good base runner. You can play left center and right, you know, obviously him being a backup center fielder and playing defense, we feel as well as guard he can. And, um, and being, you know, the AG is, I think there's a lot of value. I get a lot of calls on him, to be honest. I feel like, you know, Topman gets as many hits on our club, probably because of the control and the, the cost, but because people see the value in the player too, being left-handed and playing left center and right. Um, you know, I do receive a number of different calls. He does fit us, but I don't want to condemn him, obviously, for the performance for the same reasons. I don't want to condemn Glaber or, uh, or Gary or others that, you know, abnormally struggled this past year. But I do recognize it's a fact point that he had a tough offensive output in, in, um, in uh, 2020 uh, compared to 2019. Bottom line is, I think when you're riding the wave and doing really well, uh, like a Gary Sanchez has done in the past, you know, then it looks really good. And, uh, but when you start to struggle and question and, uh, and the frustrations kick in and um, the, then you start fighting yourself. And I think uh, then it doesn't look as well. And I think that's a, the simplest answer I can provide for you. I think that he struggled, uh, you know, he tried to fight through it. It got worse. Um, and the opportunities kind of dried up towards throughout the process. Uh, so he couldn't get consistent bats to help him get off line and then the season was over and uh so you know now it, you know the back of his baseball card looks the way it does but he's certainly a better player than that and uh, i think we recognize that i think the industry recognizes that and so 2021 will be a better uh year for him and we do believe it's gonna be a better year for others as well